recorded. So I'm doing the course in miracles. The question might be along the lines of I'm doing the course in miracles. I've been doing it for a while. Where are the miracles? <laughs> Where are the miracles? <laughs> Where are the miracles? Well, uh, it was funny actually. I actually I, I, I was speaking with actually a coaching client. I do have some coaching clients, and um, and I've been coaching this guy for um, many years now. And I remember when I first saw him, and he's a course in miracles student. Um, uh, he uh, he was um, he had quite a lot of stuff going on. And when I spoke to him recently. It was like, you know, everything's more or less okay and it's quite chilled out. There's hardly any problems. But it's like, oh, the, you know, life's fine. I mean, there isn't really any problems I can think of, but where's the super bliss? You know, like, where's the super bliss? And the uh, Course in Miracles isn't working kind of thing. And I go, it's like, and there's the thing of like, when you're doing the Course in Miracles, sometimes lots of stuff's happening, but you don't really notice it on a day-to-day -day basis. So on a day-to-day -day and a year-to-year -year basis, it's like everyone around you is saying, like, you've really changed. And you've you know, the thing is, when, you, when a problem that was bugging you and you do the Course of Miracles and it disappears, you forget that it's gone. So it's like, uh, it could be when you, you start the Course of Miracles and you have 100 problems. And now, like, 100 days later, you've only got one problem left. And it's like, uh, it, it's not working. And, uh, and, and you let you, you're someone else would notice that you're actually a lot happier. It's a trap to want, um, it's true. Uh, there, there is truth in this, but you've got to see the difference, like having a, a very fast jump in the level of consciousness and having a very slow over days and weeks, gradual increase in the light and love and the freedom. So the gradual one you don't notice and the ego tends to shout in the background, like I want an ecstasy fix right now. Uh, so that's just an ego belief system, which you just cancel or just pray to see differently. It's coming from the ego. Um, and sometimes the things happen very gradually. Sometimes they happen very fast. Often when a pro something's removed from you, you can't remember that it's been taken away and there's no gratitude. Not that you, there should be, but it's like other people can notice it. And um, you may have forgotten a lot of the stuff that's happening. Um, someone in the group was actually mentioning having ego, just to dismantle ego expectations, like uh, if I do the Course in Miracles, I want, I want a mega bliss shot right now. That kind of thing is like, um, um, so he, here's the paradox of spiritually. Sometimes you have to let things go and surrender the outcome and expectation. And sometimes they happen, sometimes they won't. But if there's a demand then that's going to block off the surrender. So you can't have a surrender, a surrender to the infinite while having demand at the same time. Like, um, I'll do this lesson today, but I demand by the end of the day um, that I get the miracle. So that, that setup blocks the miracle. So it's kind of like you have to surrender deeply, surrender even expectations. Even on a certain level, I'd say there's something called unconditional surrender. It's like you just surrender with no expectation of outcome. Why? Because who wants the outcome? Uh, and the thing that wants the outcome means that you're, you're not really trying to surrender. You're trying to have the ego survive the surrender to enjoy the surrender afterwards. So real surrender is the ego is not there afterwards to sort of moan or demand that it gets something. So, you, uh, so that's then a trap. So then you've got to see like, I've still got something in me that wants a reward and, and, and to enjoy the reward. The reward is the enjoyment of not having um, the ego enjoy the reward. The reward is the absence of the ego. Uh, and sometimes, you know, um, there's stuff with letting go of stuff and it takes a long time. So sometimes it's, um, uh, it's just the, 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 the humility or the surrender just to, to carry on with the course until these things burn off. Because having the demand that it goes very quickly, I saw, the way I sort of see it is like, oh, I'm going through a heavy, like at the moment there's a breathing stuff going on at night. And this is like, okay, it's some heavy stuff. Uh, either it passes, uh, either it passes in the physical body is okay afterwards or it, or, the, or it doesn't and the physical body drops off, but I'm not the body anyway. Uh, I'm not a body, I'm free for I'm God created me. So, 
you just eventually you, you, you ask for the miracle to see it differently. You realize whether the body stays here or the stuff stays here. Another way to see it is whatever it is, is seem to be manifesting the world, whether it's a physical illness, whether it's a, a heavy relationship, part of the miracle is actually, doesn't necessarily mean that stuff goes away. It just means there's a detachment and it doesn't mean anything and it doesn't stop the infinite light and presence, you know? So it's like, um, and it's like I've been in um, places, I mean, usually I, I get mystical stuff happening. It's like if I've got a physical illness, and I'm identifying, oh, poor me, I've got this physical illness. Um, or it's, for someone, it could be a relationship or whatever. Poor me, I have to suffer this person. Um, uh, it's like I'm doing the work and it seems to be heavy going. And then suddenly I might flip into the observer. And then suddenly it's totally meaningless and there was, there's no problem. You know, it's like it's totally irrelevant. So it's the, you keep doing it until you suddenly get the detachment from it. And then you're free, whether it's there or not. Uh, whether the body's dying or not, it's kind of irrelevant if you if you're watching it for the detachment. Um, whether there's a relationship that seemed to be difficult to the ego is kind of irrelevant once there's full detachment and one is in the freedom. So um, the cunning thing with the ego is the ego wants to enjoy the course of miracles, but that's not the purpose of the course of miracles. It's not for the ego to enjoy it and and still exist after the course of miracles it's for the um, ego to be deleted and the absence of the ego is the enjoyment okay um, so i'll stop that